obviously you've had your journey with, with, with the Wolf of Wall Streets and you've had to yeah. overcame these hurdles and now you are who you are. But the perception, right? Somebody may be hearing this for the first time and been like, okay, she's great. I love, I love her vibe. I love what she brings to the table. But to you, to them, you may be an overnight success. But in reality, how long have you been on your journey? How long has it taken you to get to where you are right now? So from when I was fired to now has been just about seven years. Um, and it has been a whirlwind, kind of like one day I think that I'm one thing. You know, I'm I'm a professional, I'm a VP, blah, blah, blah. And then the next day I've got nothing and I feel like a total failure. And then I dusted off and picked up and said, you know what, my, my background is in communications. I'm going to help people write and convey their messages better. Well, communications is perceived like most things very differently from person to person. So communications means sometimes website development. It means um, PR. It means oh my gosh, social media. It means like all these things that kind of make up the written and oral word, which yes, I do, um, but not in every medium. So I've had to learn a lot along the way and take a lot of knocks. Um, the Then I had a contract job at another financial services company, a hell of a lot smaller, and noticed that the same kind of black cloud that was over the last company was over this company. And that was the 08 financial crisis had caused this disruption in the workplace with gigantic layoffs, gigantic um, benefit cuts, real low employee morale, and without management executives really taking the horn, um, taking the bull by the horns and communicating effectively with those who are left behind, who feel like they just were torn from half their family, um, there was still this gigantic black cloud. So um, I realized my other kind of sweet spot is building places of really good, healthy corporate culture. That means places where people can collaborate and even the youngest or most junior person um, has a voice at the table oh. that when employees are valued and heard, that's when they can be most productive and eke out the most profit for your business really at the end of the day. Um, and I helped that company do that. And then I've been, um, it's probably taken me, th it's taken me three and a half years since starting kick-ass women to finally step into it, to be perfectly honest with you. So there's nothing easy about getting to your success, um, especially when you've had a lot of roadblocks in the way um, and a lot of speed bumps. So if anybody's listening and they're, they're on a journey right now, I promise you, you're going to learn from everything that happens and you get to use that as your building block and, you know, your foundation and start of the framing of who you're going to be.